we go. Super Bowl 56 is officially set, and it's between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los Angeles Rams. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports all back at it with another video talking to NFL. And here to talk about the Super Bowl, give you guys my preview and prediction for the matchup. So I'm hyped and excited about this. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and and hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure you are following me on all my social media platforms. And guys, as always, hit the bell icon so you're notified. Every time I drop a new video, I will tell you this much. The Super Bowl being here in football, the playoffs ending, does not mean football content is stopping on the channel. Oh, no, we've got free agency. We've got the draft. We've got the offseason. That's going to have plenty of rumors, etc. There's a ton to talk about. So don't worry about that. Yes, I'm sad football season's ending, but the content for football isn't going anywhere. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into it. All right, people, I'm going to take a different approach with this. All right, now work with me here. Usually, I'm just giving you guys straight up my analysis in, on the game and giving you guys my pick and prediction at the very end on who I have winning. Well, this time around, I thought about that and I said, you know what? Let me not do that. Why? Because this Super Bowl, and especially this Cincinnati side of things here with the Bengals, is unlike any other Super Bowl. All right, fun fact, this is the first Super Bowl, I believe, in NFL history where we've got two uh, teams that are in the Super Bowl that are not top three seeds, at least. Both the Bengals and the Rams. And I get it, the Rams are, are much more loaded and, and certainly more people expected them to be here than the Bengals, but both non-top three seeds. And the reason I wanted to go a different route is not because I'm not prepared. I got plenty of notes here for you guys, okay, breaking down this game. But because of the fact that all the analysis that I have for the Rams, and let me just start by saying that, I have the Rams winning the Super Bowl, right? Cats out of the bag. No, it's really not because if you guys follow my channel, you should know I literally had the Rams to go and win the Super Bowl before the season started. Before the season started, I had the Rams winning the Super Bowl. So obviously, I'm not backing off my pick. Now, that's not to say I wouldn't have if the Rams are going up against a team that I really thought would beat them. But in this instance, I don't. And so, again, I have the Rams winning the Super Bowl. But why do I want to not give you the straight-up normal analysis? Well, that's because of the fact that everything that I will say about the Rams, I could have said about the Chiefs. And they lost to the the Chiefs lost to the Bengals, right? The Chiefs are a better team. They have the better quarterback, better weapons, better uh, line, O line, D line. You can make the argument better coach, uh, better defense. Everything you can say for the Ram Rams, you can probably say it for the Chiefs. And the Chiefs lost to the Bengals. So why would a Bengals fan or somebody who's saying, "Fies, I think the Bengals are going to win." Why would they be convinced that the Rams? are going to be better than the Chiefs when well, the Chiefs lost. Well, here's the thing, folks. All right. For some reason, Joe Burrow and this Bengals team seems to have Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs number because in the regular season, we saw this very same thing play out, right? The Bengals beat the Chiefs 34 to 31. The Chiefs were up 28 to 17 at halftime. They had a lead. All right. Bengals beat the Chiefs Obviously, last week in the conference championship, 27 to 24 by three points. By the way, first game also three point win. Chiefs were up 21 to 10. They would have been up 24 to 10 had they taken the field goal, and that could have been changing everything. All right, we can discuss that in a later video. Point being here is the Chiefs up double digits in both games, lose to the Bengals. And I came on here after that AFC championship game and I said, Look, folks. I love Joe Burrow. He's fantastic. I like this Bengals team. Everybody loves the Cinderella story. But I truly believe that the Chiefs lost that game more than the Bengals won it. What do I mean by that? In any given game, if a team comes back, right, and finds a way to win the game, um, there's always two sides of it. Is Did the other team just stop trying? Did they choke? Uh, like, what is it? And I thought the Chiefs choked more than I thought the Bengals instilled their win will on that game. That's just how I feel. So to me, again, that's the reason why I'm telling you. Look, I can give you the numbers uh, uh, saying that the Rams are the better defense, right? 10th overall, 18th against the pass, 5th against the rush. 
I'll take Sean McVay over Zach Taylor. Aaron Donald, Von Miller, and the Rams' D-line should annihilate the Ram uh, the Bengals' offensive line and Joe Burrow. Um, you know, I'd take Matt Stafford at this point over Joe Burrow. I love Joe Burrow, but again, he's only in his second year. Um, all of the reasons here, and Vegas is telling you they'll take the Rams to their four-point favorites, but the Chiefs are favorites. So I'm just here to tell you this, folks. I get it. The Bengals have overachieved, and they've overcome everything. I believe but the buck stops here. I believe that Rams, who are the objectively better team, win this game. All right? I have the Rams winning this game. And, again, even though you might think the Chiefs should have won, I'm sticking with the Rams. I don't think they'll do what the Chiefs did. And I got to tell you this much, folks. The Bengals can absolutely win this game. They can. But I don't see them winning it. I got the Rams winning. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. Maybe if you play that game over again with the Chiefs, they win that game. But that's why we love this sport, because it's any given Sunday, anything can happen. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. And uh, that's 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 why we love football, right? It's single game and elimination. You play a series, and the outcome is different. So I got the Rams winning, folks. Again, for all the reasons I mentioned to you guys, I get it. The Chiefs lost, but the Rams, to me, still the better team objectively over the Bengals, I'll take Matt Stafford over Joe Burrow. I'll take uh, Sean McVay 10 times out of 10 over Zach Taylor. The Rams have a better defensive line. They've got a better offensive line. Uh, the Bengals probably have the better receiving core. Obviously, uh, Jamar Chase and T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd, those three are solid. But Cooper Cup's the best receiver in football, so you can't even say that that's a given. So maybe they don't have the best receiving core. Maybe it is to the to the Rams but it's it's a push right it's a push okay running game fine I'll take Joe Mixon over Cam Akers so you can give the Bengals that uh but yeah folks more often than not the Rams are winning in more facets of the game than the Bengals are they're just a better team and I believe they get it done I believe Matt Stafford this is the perfect coordination for a career in which he spent in uh you know mediocrity with with the Detroit Lions not even mediocrity they were they're were below mediocre and this is his chance to redeem himself by going ahead and, and winning a Super Bowl. So I think Matt Stafford is going to go ahead and do that. And uh, I just got the Rams winning in. All right, so that's my prediction. And as far as the score itself, I've got the Rams winning this game 24-14. to 14. So yes, everybody wants to have another close game. But I don't see this being uh, that close. I mean, it's not a complete blowout, but it's a double-digit victory 24 to 14 is what I have uh, the score being in this game. The Rams winning and Matt Stafford, Sean McVay and company will be winning and hoisting the Super Bowl trophy. I believe Stafford probably wins MVP for the Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP. It could be Cooper Cup as well. Uh, but yeah, I believe it's going to be uh, Matt Stafford and this Rams team getting the job done. That's just how I feel about it. So let me know what you guys think, folks. Look, the Bengals fans, you guys have a lot to be proud of. You're already playing with house money at this point. But the Rams are just the better team. And again, I picked them before the season because of the fact that I really, truly believed, even though they weren't the number one seed, even though they didn't have the best record, that they are offense, defense, special teams, everything. The best coaching as well. A best team, objectively speaking, in pro football. And that's why I believe they win the Super Bowl. So as always, thanks for watching.